It is time for our journey to come to an end. This is the final part and the ending. Things continue to spiral out of control. This one is pretty wild as well and goes to places I was not expecting. Thanks for watching, please do hit that like, leave me a comment and let me know what you think of this game and what you thought of the ending that I got. Okay, enjoy. Oh. Oh, oh, oh no. I don't think I'm feeling too good. Mom! Mom! Grab the wheel, Mitch. You were trained for this, uh. Careful, Mitch. Everything all right, little guy? What are you doing here? Lie. We're on our way to see family. Is your mom asleep? She just needs some rest. We came from far away. Fine. Just don't stay too long. It's getting dark. did hear about a woman and her boy in the car shooting at some of our officers shooting the tires out, but I, that couldn't have been you. I won't keep on driving. How are you feeling, Mom? Much better, sweetheart. I'll check the car. And you try to get it started. You have yourself, you have yourself a nice little nap there in the corn. <laughs> it's fine, it's totally fine. You drove into some corn there. It's gonna be hard to Nothing get suspicious out. here. I'll be moseying okay, on now. Mitch. Turn it on. Okay, Mom. You okay, Mom? Yes, don't worry. Oh. Mom. Oh, no. Uh, it's all good, Mitch. <clears throat> it's getting worse. That's lucky. Take out the gun, ask for help. Can you help us? What happened? It won't start up. Where's your dad? What, what kind well, of question is that? Will you help us, sir? Maybe I should have. My auto shop's pretty close. I'll give you all a tow. Zero killer vibes. We got lucky, did we? Did we? We'll see about that. I don't know. Maybe woulda, shoulda, coulda taken that gun. I'm Louise. This is my son, Mitch. This game's been so bonkers um, in places so far, it wouldn't surprise me if we were suddenly getting again. chased through the corn by a serial killer, honestly. You'll thank me later. W will I? How long will the repair take? Hard, hard to say. Oh boy. brought gas. Welcome! Their car is broken. I'm gonna take care of it now. Good evening. We don't want to bother you. Don't be silly. We love company, but we rarely have gas. What's your name, darling? Louise. This is my son, Mitch. If this was me right now, so present day, Thomas I would be so up. terrified. I've seen too many movies. That's so true. He stopped to help us. Where are you headed? We're going to Florida. Oh, that's quite a ways. Hard to do without a car. What's waiting for you there? Just business. Hmm. And where's your father, little boy? Tell the truth, talk back, lie. Dad had to stay home because of work. Telling some porky pies Very here, well. but... Do come inside. I don't trust these people, to be honest with you. To tell them our I business. I some cookies. Oh my god. 
the inside. I feel like I'm in an M. Night Shyamalan picture right now. Who are those kids? Why are they standing there all weird? Oh god, there's three of them. Ooh. These are my granddaughters. Hi, what's your name? Mitch. I am Ada. Ida. Oda. Ada, Ida, Oda. Wanna play with us? Oh god, it's the shiny. Good idea, Ada. Go play together. Oh, children. Their mother left when they were little. For no reason? Just like that? Just like that. One morning, she just packed up and went. I'm raising them with my son now, but Check off he space knows for cars better than children. He's always been in a world of his own, but he's a good boy. Is he? Yes, you've already said that. Which I'm makes me feel sure like he's not such a good boy. I'm not sure how much time our good, good lord boy. has left for me, but it won't be forever. The girls need a mother. Oh no. Someone to shelter them from the world and, and push them to do their chores. Major problem. Can't do much without light. We are without power. A tornado blew all the power lines down. You'll sleep in our guest room. This is turning into a horror game, in isn't it? In the morning, I'll see what I can do. They're going to try and force me we to be the mum here. Those. Oh, stop it, darling. We love guests. Besides, you don't have a choice, do you? I'll lock up the shop now. You never know who's lurking around on a night like this. A night like what? Doc, let's go to your room. I'll show you around. Oh boy. Thank you, you're very kind. Oh, don't mention it. You would keep your kid so close in this situation. Oh, okay, he's just there. Come with me, Mitch. Come with mummy. You want to play hide and seek with us? Nah. In the dark? Definitely don't want to hide in this in this house. I don't like the dark. If you win, it will get bright. Each of us will hide in a different room. That's not how the light works. You have to works. find us one by one, say the name, and light a candle if you get it right. Okay. Close your eyes and count to ten. Why do I feel like... We're going to wake up in the morning and realize that no one was here two, in the house at all, and these are ghosts that we're playing with right three, now. Three, nine, ten. The music. Ready or not, here I come. I'm going to search around in this spooky house, finding them and lighting candles. Gotcha. Gotcha. Not so fast. You still have to say my name. Oh. Oh. Uh, Oda. Maybe Oda. You forgot my name. Well. Go back in the hallway and count again. Seriously? Oh Nine, my god. Ten. Ready or not, here I come. What kind of rule is that? Ida, Ida, Oda, Ida, Ida. Gotcha. Not so fast. You still have to Ada. say my name. No, Ada was in red. Ida. Your name is Ida. You forgot my name. Oh, Go for... back in the hallway and count again. She's making it up as she along. Ready or not, here I come. Okay. God. Not so fast. You still have to say my name. Ada. Your name is good. Okay, now if I was hiding... Aha! Uh -huh. Gotcha! Worst hiding place ever. Oh, what's the matter? Hey, what happened? I, I've heard him. What? Who? From the cellar. Excuse me? You're putting me on, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Nothing's happening, all right? Give me your hand and we'll go. Brave Mitch. 
We can't come out until you guess our names. Those are the rules. Otherwise, we'll be punished. Um... Hey, it's just a game, but okay. You must be Oda. Maybe Oda. No, my name is Ida. I, I knew that. Go back in the hallway and count again. I meant Ida. Nine. Ready or not, here I come. <laughs> Mitch just starts losing it with them. All right, found you again. Gotcha. Hey, what? You're putting. It's we did okay. this already, my my we dear. Hey, it's just a game, Ida. Yes, you can light my candle now. Come on, baby, light my fire. There we go. Let's find the last one. Definitely ghosts. Definitely ghosts. Oh. Keep your mouth shut. You don't want me to punish you, do you? Uh oh. Okay. Gotcha. Found you. Yes, but do you remember my name? I do. Sure, I remember. You're Oda. Your name must be Oda. Yes, you remember. Thank God. You can light my candle now. Just three it. Scandinavian Tomorrow, girls we'll in the middle of... Tomorrow I'm leaving. <laughs> the Midwest, know. yeah. Who lives behind this door? Either or the either. Oh, nobody. I saw your dad coming out from behind this door and talking to somebody. Should we tell him? A ghost lives in the cellar. A ghost? Are you sure it's not a monster? I knew we wouldn't believe. Nobody is allowed in there. Your dad was there. Dad is allowed. The ghost tells him to bring things. In return, he won't harm us and our grandma. But sometimes, at night, you can hear terrible sounds in the cellar. What? Dinner time, kids! You know, sonny boy, your mom and I have bonded. I feel it. Don't you, honey? Uh, no. You're very kind, ma'am. You remind me of someone, but you're much prettier. Isn't she pretty, Thomas? Yo, who this? The police? Hi, Tom. George. Max Hunter's farm. 11 o'clock. We've got a job to do. What is going on? I'll be there. One more thing. Would you happen to have seen a blue Cadillac around? They say it was parked by the road earlier. No. Didn't see it. Okay. See you later. Who's that? We're gonna have some fun. Darling, if you were single, my Tom would have been a perfect match for Isn't you, Isn't that right? our car? Mom, can you please shut up? By the way, why aren't you wearing your wedding ring? This turkey is very good. Muted sounds in cellar. Did you hear that? Is that the ghost? A ghost? Well, you're too old for ghost stories. I heard you have to bring him all kinds of stuff. Yeah, traps for the damned rats. And once, a rattlesnake bit our dog. What happened to him? He died. The rattlesnake or the dog? The dog died. The snake went away, Mitch. And you, snotty girls, I'm gonna punish you for scaring our guests. They didn't do anything. Uh, how do you make this turkey? I'll teach you, honey. It's a family recipe. Uh, thank you for this lovely dinner. You're welcome. We love having guests. Oh my gosh. We're going to bed. I can barely stand up. Mom is ill. 
Ill with what, hon? Mitch, can you not spill our Nothing business? Serious. Just a Constantly? Cold. Hmm. Breakfast at seven. Seven? And thanks again for everything. Good night. It's a bit bloody early. Mom, this place is kind of strange. You think? What's on your mind? When he was walking out of the cellar, I heard Mr. Thomas threaten someone with punishment if they don't keep quiet. And later, the sisters told me about a ghost who lives there. It could just be a girl, you know. And then some, at dinner, you know, we heard people. noises under the floor. Something evil is happening here, Mom. Maybe we're just imagining things. We try not to judge. My intuition you know. tells me something is not quite right. How do you know? <laughs> How do you know? It's a bit obvious. Oh boy. Open. I don't know if I want to open it, to be honest with you. Buy it in there. Mate, if there was just a face here, I would have fallen out of my chair. I gotta check this out, or I won't be able to sleep. Mom, that's a bad idea. I'm coming with you. That's an even worse idea. No, Mitch. Stay here and don't come out, no matter what. Lock the door. When I knock three times, you can let me back in. Oh, boy. Mom, I'm afraid of this ghost. I don't want to be alone. Sweetheart, ghosts are only invented by people who have something to hide. And we are only scared because we don't know what they are hiding. That's why I'm going to check it out. You be brave now and wait for me here, okay? Okay. You're a smart boy. The cellar door is locked. I'll look for the key. Man, what are we going to find? Take the gun, right? I want to take the Bible too. Power of Christ compels you. Some three evil little kids out here. Some old suitcase, but no keys here. Okay. Just spoons, knives, and forks. Quite dirty. Imagine getting caught doing this. Just the old lady suddenly comes out. What you doing, sweetie? Oh, these must be the keys. Be so scary. This is kind of unsettling. What if someone who's in here is... What if they're dangerous? What if they're keeping them down here for a reason? Damn. None fit. Oh. 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 Ah! You're about to join them, you nosy cunt. Jeez. Get that bat. Get that bat. Get that bat, Mitch. I had that feeling. I had that feeling it was going to be the clan when that guest showed up and was talking about meeting up in the middle of the night and stuff. You had a feeling. Bash him. Mitch, go find a piece of rope to tie him with. Find the rope? Okay. Take your gun out, Mum. Man, this game loves dropping the C-bomb on it. Uh, I just hope this rope will hold him. This must be the cellar key. Are we going in there? Forbid Mitch to exit. Explain you don't want to put him in danger anymore. Uh, yeah, we want to go in there, right? So forbid to exit. Explain you don't want to put him in danger. No, we're going to open it. No, Mitch. What? I'm going. Yeah, you me. Go back Sorry. To the room, and this time you stay there. I haven't learned anything. Too bad. Okay, where's my gun? Take the gun out. 
Alright, go on, go on down there, Louise. Let's see what's going on. Jeez. Hello? Thomas and his friends. Yo, what? There you are, you bastard. Okay. I don't know this dude, but to complete a perfect family picture, all we need is dear granny. Hello? Who are you? He's just got some woman chained up down here. What is this place? Oh my god. What's going on? Careful. He's coming back. He must run away. When he finds out... Easy. He won't hurt you now. Let us go. Please. Oh my god, there's more than one. There's m Is there three? Is this like the three mums for the kids? This is dark, dude. Oh my god, get out of here. It's the three mums. How long has he kept you here? Uh, I don't know. Oh my A few Lord. years. And those little girls? They are our daughters. What? We could only hear them playing above our heads. Is their father? He kidnapped me when I was jogging by the highway. This is insane. He entered our home, hit my dad with a hammer. Is is my dad alive? How would I know? I had a date with him at a bar and woke up in this cage. Why didn't anybody try to find us? <clears throat> The man is in the clan and hurting people and kidnapping women. I'm okay now. Let's go upstairs. And put a bullet in his he head. Kill us. No, he won't be up for a while. Forever. Go finish the job, Louise. What do we do with him? Kill him. My advice? Take the justice into your own hands. Do it. If you turn him over to the police and he's sentenced, yep. he'll be out in a few years. Finish him off. His kind never changes. Years doing this? Bitch! Nah. Oh, God. <laughs> I had no choice. <laughs> oh, amazing. Still alive. I'll put another one around then. We'll take care of that. Good girls. I'll be going now. Do you happen to know Max Hunter's farm? What is this game turning into? This is wild. We're bailing out. Who was in the cellar? I'll tell you on the road. <laughs> and, uh, maybe not. What do you need Mr. Thomas's costume for? Now we'll play the ghost. Oh my god. Do we need right before the reunion? Yes. Yes, Mom. Are we going to kill some clan? So I did teach you something after We've dressed all. up. This cave is like going places I did not think it was, but I kind of like it. Mom was awesome. I see that now. But on the other hand, I'd have to think twice before putting my child in danger. Now, nah, dude, let mum live. She got a month left. Wow, and we're saving someone? This time you're not getting out of the car. Swear, Mitch. You swear first that nothing will happen to you. I swear. I don't believe you. I don't believe you either. This is crazy. Finally, Thomas. You took your fucking time. Put that gun down, Thomas, or you're gonna shoot that n before we hang him. On your knees. Thomas is gone. Get down on your knees in two seconds or you'll meet his fate. 
Oh my god. Do it. Oh. There goes a brave one. He might be alive. Want to help him? Take your hood off. You know him? Yeah, he's our sheriff. Oh, I'm not surprised. I saw his pictures. Cuff him. You're making a big mistake. I mean, he's 100% getting away with you it. You made a mistake when you took off your hood for all those lynching party photos. Still not sure about it sticking. Why don't we just stick him... Take his know. gun away. I've got your pictures and others have them too. Death penalty in each of them. Offer a deal to facilitate further travels. Offer the prisoner to take the law into his own hands. <sighs> hmm. Offer it to the prisoner. I don't want anything from this guy. We've established who you are. But do you know who I am? No. What do you think a white girl like me can do to you now? You're pointing a gun at me, so I assume it's not about sex. Sir. So. Sex with a pig is out of the question. You'll never forget it if you try. This is not the time, Sheriff. I'll never forget watching you die. But I'm not alone this time. What should I do with him? Honestly, I, I just want to go home to my family. You should go back, but they'll He's still like, come after you. You're kind of scaring me, to be honest. So we should kill him? I just won't leave. I suggest you put the Sheriff in the trunk and drive to the nearest big city. Then find a black police officer and hand this bastard over with the pictures. What if they destroy the pictures? Mm. They will cover this up. Feels like it, honestly. I've got extra prints and negatives. Tell them it will all come out one way or another. Why can't you take him there, ma'am? I'm going in the other direction. I have to find Black Morass in Louisiana. Black Morass? Yeah. Have you been there? No, I'm afraid not. Well, now the sheriff knows what But I have going. a good friend who lives there on an alligator farm. That's where we want to go. Was his name Leon? Good lord, Leon, of course. Oh my god, this guy in on the so We have to kill Louise. him now. Leon spoke of you many times. Your mother said the same thing. Are you giving this guy I all of our info? Hope. How unsearchable are his judgments and how fathomless his ways. Your father had so much to tell you. He he was grief-stricken that he ran out of time. What do you mean, he ran out of time? Find him and ask for yourself. What does that mean? I'll do that. I leave the sheriff in your charge, but don't do anything silly. He's going to promise you mountains of gold. Just kill him. Thanks, Louise. Stop Later, using my name. The paper that a killer kidnapped the sheriff. But the sheriff broke loose Come on. and killed him. But they didn't follow us. Did you get him, Mom? I'm not sure. I could have helped you with the Winchester. Once you shoot a person, you'll want to do it again. What? So what? So you'll kill an innocent person and you'll never forget it. Or someone will kill you. Pretty sure that's not how it works unless you're a serial Then why killer. did you shoot? So nobody kills you. Are we going to see Grandpa? Yes. Is Grandpa cool? He used to be very cool, but then he left his kids without a word. And my dad left us without a word too? No. Can you be quiet for a while, Mitch? I wish there was an option that we could have killed that sheriff. I don't like that he's going to get that guy. Like, the only thing we had there was to cut a deal or to let him choose, and he chose not to, but... Damn. For the next few hours, we drove in silence. Suddenly, my mother looked at me and said, the most important thing in life are your principles. Fuck. And I thought we lived in a shithole. Looks like that's the only way. Let's go. Let's see what's out there. I've got a bad feeling about this. We didn't come all the way just to turn back. Okay, get in the car. Rickety looking bridge. 
doesn't seem very safe. Looks like Grandpa doesn't like company. We should probably uh -huh. ditch Maybe this it's not that bad. vehicle at some point. It uh, belongs to dead people. Oh, oh no. Oh Shit. no. Jump out of the car, bitch! You just knew that was going to happen. Um. Mom! Mitch! Where are you? Here! Help me! I can't swim! Oh. Hang on, Mom. I'll think of something. Ah. Wow. Find something to pull Louise out. She got up on that van so funnily. Okay. Find something. Find something. Clock sticking. Clock sticking, Mitch. What do we got? What's over here? <laughs> Just never comes back. Bye, Mom. Alright, that'll definitely not do it, but... Let's see. Grab the Hold stick. On, Mom. Oh. I feel like the stick is not helping. Thank you. You okay? Considering we just lost everything we've got? Sure, Mitch. It's all good. So, what's next? Now, we're gonna hoof it. Too bad Grandpa doesn't know we're coming. He would come out and get us, right? Mmm, uh, yeah, mate, probably. I hope so. Are you mad at me? Um... Why would I be mad? I'm curious why I would be mad. Let's tell the truth to find out. I'm mad at myself. I knew I shouldn't have taken that damn bridge. That makes more sense. I mean, did I or did I not say, are we really going to go over that bridge? Terrible idea. A road sign. We're on the right track. Who would live in this place? Your grandfather would. Maybe he's not all there. Nobody in our family is all there. You okay, Mom? <clears throat> Just a bit tired, that's all. Let's go before the mosquitoes eat us alive. Let's walk over the top. Why does this feel like the kind of place where alligators would just be laying in wait for you? We seem so nonchalant about walking through this spot. I, I gotta rest. Are you afraid to see Grandpa? Mm, sure. I guess so, but don't let it worry you. What did we just lose? Some I'll confidence. Wow, to, his Mom. confidence is down to 65. Grandpa's not gonna harm me, Mitch. I'm just afraid we won't understand each other after all this time. Mitch, what if you had to live here? Never. Oh. What if Grandpa turns out all right? Then we go home, right? Tell the truth. No. You want to stay here? This is no place How for long? a kid. I haven't even seen what this house is like, but sorry, that's my mug of uh, tea that I have. You want to stay here? How long? <laughs> Got some throat tea. Um, let's just be truthful. Mitch, I'm very ill. So you need to rest. Is that why we're going to Grandpa's? We don't have much time. Oh, this is we not the to place to Grandpa. have this conversation. At least I hope Grandpa knows how to fish. Hold back your tears, get emotional. Spare him. Mom? I'm fine, sweetheart. Quite an adventure, isn't it? Yes, the best vacation ever. I love you, Mitch. I'll find the way. You just rest now. Okay. Just be careful. Okay. There's nothing wrong with showing emotion, but I feel like Mitch is a little bit young to have 
We both knew this wasn't going to end well, it's and we were both I'm... hoping for something that would give this story a happy ending. Are we Mitch now? Oh yeah. Mom doesn't look too good, does she? Very curious to see where this game goes and how it deals with it, honestly. I'm wondering if there is going to be a twist in this and whether she'll make it or not. Is that wishful thinking on my part? It could be. What's this? Oh no! That's terrifying. Quick, kid! I'll help you! Grab my hand! I'm trying. But don't stress yourself. Don't put in too much effort or crouch down or anything. Just a child. Uh, are you nuts? What were you doing down there? Please shoot him, ma'am. She's a mother protecting her young. You stepped into her nest, so she wanted to eat you. Was Oops. she right or wasn't she? If she ate me, that wouldn't be right. What are you doing here, kid? My mom needs help. We were going to Black Morass, and she got weak. Going to Black Morass on foot? You're either stupid or desperate. Rude. Had that monster eaten me, Mom would have looked for me. And if she found whatever was left of me, she would have probably died. Hmm? You know, I love this artwork in between. I almost wish that it loaded a little slower so I could see more art like that. It's great. Got some comic book panels going. Man, is she gonna like get back to her dad and then pass? This could be really sad. Well, this reminds me of a place that I went to when I was in Florida one time. They fed the gators and stuff. Going on here. Feeling better? Much better. Thank you again, ma'am. You should thank your son. What would I do without you, Mitch? You must have slept for 12 hours. Is it really true that you're looking for your old man to give him hell? What? What did you tell her, Mitch? That you're looking for a father who'd left you and that you're very sick. Mitch! I'll go get some more meat. Always spilling our business. Stop him or let him go. Um, stay here. Hold on, Mitch. What? You want to tell me something? Maybe you want to tell me something. What do you mean, Mitch? Tell me what's really going on, Mom. Not here, not now. I'll tell you later, Mitch. It's always later with you. Oh no. The kid is no dummy. Thank you, but I think I know my own son. <laughs> but <laughs> that does he know you? <laughs> that implies that What's you that think he's a dummy. Nothing in particular. Are you a shrink? I just raise alligators. And I'm just looking for my father. I'm sorry. You're right. It's none of my business. I'm looking for my father, but not to give him hell. You won't find him here. I know he settled in Black Morass. Black Morass was flooded two years ago. Hmm. Everybody moved away. Did you know those people? No, I built the farm <coughs> after all that happened. <coughs> Feeling sick again? Come on, let's go inside. Oh, he's not even here. That kid's no dummy. He I think I know my own eight. son just disappeared. Right. Do you hate him or need him? Honestly, both. You couldn't have made it this far on pure hate. What about you? All by yourself? I had a guy. I met him after he got out from a 10-year stretch. Oh. What did he do? Attempted murder. Oh. When he got out, he went after that same motherfucker again. Learned nothing. Your guy sounds like a real psycho, to be honest. That motherfucker was making moves on his daughter. She wasn't even eight. Oh, okay. Fair enough. 
I already know who it is. Find out more. Wait, why would we know who it is? Find out more. And what about his family? After he did time, he went back home and was greeted by divorce papers. That pissed him off. And his daughter? The girl ran away before he came back. He crossed the whole country. Is this country about our dad? Her. Did he find her? A few years back, he found her trail in San Francisco. Who is this? But she was already gone. Why did he look for her? She was his daughter. Is he still looking for her? Unfortunately, Why is no. the lady not putting two and two together that we're looking for our dad? Where is he now? By that old bridge that collapsed with all your stuff. There's a small cemetery there. He died. What was your man's name? Leon. Leon Connor. <sighs> I should have guessed earlier. I've got something for you. So our dad died? When he couldn't find you, I made him write you a letter. But he didn't know where to send it. Oh, that's really sad after all this time. God. I can't do it, Mitch. You read it. Louise, my little girl. After all these years, I still can't find you. I understand why you're avoiding me. Perhaps you even hate me. I just want to say I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I allowed all these lies and that I couldn't protect you. Instead of looking for the bad guy, I should have just stayed with you. I'll never stop looking for you. And I know we shall meet in the end. Maybe it's time for you to come clean with your son. Sad. So he tried to kill the priest that tried to touch us and then went to prison. Then what was all the stuff about him leaving them and abandoning them? And then he came out of prison and tried to get him again? I don't understand the timeline. Mitch, wait! Everything up to that point has been about the fact that he left, hasn't it? No one said anything about him going to prison. Mitch? Why isn't my dad with us now? I mean, it's a nice spot for a talk, but also very conscious of the fact that crocodiles might have my toesies here. Maybe one day you'll meet your dad. When? Why do you say things that you know aren't true? You've never met yours, and I'll never meet mine. Can't you just tell me what happened? I'll tell you one day. So we keep playing this game the that lady I'm snooping. stupid and I don't understand anything. Little kids are not supposed to know, right? You don't tell them everything. I'm not a kid anymore, Mom. Thanks to you. What do you mean? I mean that in the last few days, I've seen enough to stop being a kid. I'm sorry for that, Mitch. I always want to be with you, Mom, but instead of being on vacation, we keep running away. I did it all for you. You started with setting your boss's car on fire, and then it just got better and better. You're not being fair, Mitch. No, that was really great, Mom. If you could only stop lying. What are you talking about? Hey, lady, why are you listening I in? I think it's time for bed, Mitch. Wow. Good night. Sweet dreams, kid. I'm having a moment here. Come and join me on the porch. So his father doesn't even know about him, huh? Will you take care of him? He likes you. I'm not going anywhere now. What? What? Press on, wait for the answer? Why would we just leave Mitch here with this lady? Like, I know that she was with our dad, like, kind of a stepmom that we never met, but... I'm unclear here what the thing is. Press on would be what? Pushing her to take him? Waiting for the answer would be just sitting quietly.
I don't want to like pressure her. Also, I don't even know if it's a very good idea, no. to be honest with you. The boy has a father. Yeah, a selfish bastard. Talking about what happened eight years ago is nonsense. Who's selfish now? Easy for you to say. You're not dying. Maybe you will die, but the kid and his father will keep on living. Okay. <laughs> if you don't make it, I promise I'll take care of the boy, I swear. Apple Hill. From New Orleans, take I-55 north to Campwood. Then turn left onto a gravel road. After a few miles, go right. Campwood, that's less than 100 miles from here. I don't want him to suffer in case something goes wrong. I'll take you to New Orleans in the morning. My friend will take it from there. Thank you. I'm glad my dad finally met the right woman. What did we just give out the address? Well, he wasn't too picky after 10 years in the joint. Leon always talked about a little girl who had so much strength. Enough to defy the whole family. He always admired you for it. If I had to choose a grandma right then, I would have chosen Barbara. Even if I had to live in those boondocks. After we said our goodbyes, Mom told me, if we don't make it, Mitch, you'll go back to her. I was ready for it. Because I knew we wouldn't make it. Oh, no. The options for this kid are not good. Ah, Love it. Hope we get a gallery of all of those at the end. Alright, back in 1961. Go ahead, look for it. Stop being silly, Frank. I have something important to tell you. Look for it. Prego. Ta-da! Champagne! What's the occasion? Keep looking. What's this, a ticket? A ticket for New York? For tomorrow? I heard back from Atlantic. They want me to start recording in the studio the day after tomorrow. Oh. That's fab! That fast? I know. It's a reward for our infinite patience. What a lovely scene. With the tree Did you join me after the session? You want to stay in New York? It feels like there's some quite nice music here. Let me see if we can get that any louder. You want to have kids? What? You heard me. Are you pregnant? Would you like me to be? And just when the biggest label on the East Coast wants to sign me. Albums, concerts. What do you want me to say? A simple question. Do you want kids or not? I wonder if she's already pregnant. So are you pregnant or not? Yes. Oh. Aren't you happy? Well, yeah. That was kind of a sly Very way much. to go about it, to be like, do you Just wish kidding. I was? Oh. I'm not pregnant. Louise. What? Jesus, are you, are you serious? You scared me. Um, yeah, I noticed. Louise, of course I want to have kids with you, but it's not the best time. Okay? Hmm. When the right time comes, you let me know, will ya? Hey, don't be mad. Our lives are just beginning. My life had just begun a few weeks earlier. I'm not sure if that made anybody else happy, but I sure was. In the summer of 69. Isn't that the song? Mom, do you hear me? Hmm? I can't believe I'm gonna meet my dad. It feels strange. Uh... To be honest, I thought we could have avoided this. I'm a bit scared. Oh, come on. He's just a black, middle-aged man that you don't know yet. Oh, we're meeting here? I guess we sort of skipped through setting it up, maybe, if it's, uh... I really meant it back then. The friend got to be honest, here. I still do. Oh, okay. I thought we were about to go chill at the tree. I thought my dad was a musician, not a farmer. 
Wait for me here. This is where musicians end up, son. It's an important lesson for you about the creative arts and industry and business. <laughs> you want to get a trade under your belt, son. Think you're going to play the trumpet? This is where you'll end up. Follow your dreams. Good morning. Hello. What do we think? Is he here? Is he alive? Does he exist? Lester, are you in there? The plants have been watered, so someone must live here. How very smart of you, Mitch. Flowers. Oh. Hands off my plants and get out. Good morning, Lester. Which part of get out don't you understand? I'm looking for Frank. Yeah, sick of Sir? Come here, Plato. You're still alive, old boy. Come on. Useless piece of shit. Why are you so aggressive? I see you still love animals and people. Tell me where Frank is and I'll be gone. Frank don't want to see you. Are you still in touch with him? And who are you? I'm Mitch. Good morning. Your grandson. Oh. You left him when he needed you most. Suddenly you're back thinking I'll let you ruin his life again? Get out. What? I left him so he could live his own life. So what do you want from him now? Child support? I've been writing to him every month. That's more than a hundred letters, Lester. He never wrote back. Now I know I had the wrong address. Enough of this bullshit. His place was always here on the farm. Where is he, Lester? Lester is a terrible person. Died in Vietnam. Happy now? You're lying. He got his ass kicked somewhere in Alabama. Lester! Nah, he met a leech just like you, an overdose. Either way for you, he don't exist. Hmm. I don't think he would respond to threatening very well. I beg you, Lester. It's very important. Please. Let's get out of here, Mom. No. You heard him. He's not here. He is. They don't want us here. Mitch! Hard for the boy. Everywhere we go, nobody wants him. Mitch, wait! Oh, it's gonna have a heart to heart by the tree. What? It's gonna be alright. Stop lying. You think I don't know this vacation is not really a vacation? What are you saying? See? Lying again. That's not a lie, it's a question. But I'm gonna admit to it, it's time to come clean. This seems as good a place as any. Fine. You're right. You should have said that earlier. Mitch, wait! I wonder if Mitch behaves differently because we have such low righteousness. Be interested to know how this affects things. Get down, Mitch. Oh, there's multiple endings. Why are you lying? Because I'm scared. You keep saying there's nothing to be scared of. Just tell me the truth. Why isn't Daddy with us? Hmm. I left him, but I thought he would find me. I don't get it. Only a grown-up can understand. That means Dad was not a grown-up because he didn't look for you. And you behave like a girl from my playground. She is six. Cooled out. <sighs> yeah, I know. So why do you want for us to meet now? Tell the truth. I have to find a new home for you. You need a father. And a family. So sad. I don't need a father. And a new family. I've got you. It's very difficult, but I feel like this would be the point where we would have to... 
come clean. I mean, it's getting close. We're getting so ill. What are we going to do? Just, you know, drop dead and then have that happen? It's good to have the conversation. I'm very sick, Mitch. Are you dying, Mom? I don't know. I guess I am. But why? We both knew about it, but we kept pretending otherwise, right? But I want to be with you. I want to be with you too, kid. Having you was the only right choice I made in my life. I'm not going to die before I find you a family. So let's go somewhere far, far away and look forever. Mm. That's cute. Later, I asked my mom what thoughts a dying person has. She said, one hopes that it's not going to happen tomorrow. Oh my god, did we sleep under the tree? Oh no, don't. Not the old wake up. Is this a Disney film? Is this a Disney? Mom? Oh no. Mommy? Not like this. She's barely breathing. I'll get some help, Mom. Okay, she's still alive. We're getting some help. For sure, thought that was going to be a wake up moment. Would have been a great place to do it. If she doesn't die here, maybe she doesn't die. I'm starting to doubt it, honestly. I'm starting to think we might beat this thing. You better help now, Lester. Please open up! My mom needs help! If you don't help her, she's going to die. I'm not falling for that. I have to call an ambulance. It's true, old man. Have some of this. What you doing, you little brat? I'll bust you up. My mom is dying. This is a trick. Do you have a phone? No. But the neighbors do. Where is it? Uh, I'm gonna go there. No! You go get my mom. She's on that hill under a tree. Okay, okay. Go past the windmill along the fence, then straight through a field all the way to a ditch. After the ditch, you'll see a white house at the end of a road. Would it not be quicker for you to drive, sir? Oh, I guess he's going to pick her up. Find the road by the windmill. This windmill? We're going to run through here. I didn't know how long that path was. I could barely see running through the rain. All I remember was my heart pounding so hard I felt it in my throat. Run, Mitch. Stump, stump, stump. I tried not to think about mom so I wouldn't cry. But was I crying? It's just raining. The hard rain drowned out my howling. This is such a long way. Ah, ba, ba. Over the stones, parkour. I wonder what happens if time runs out. Finally, I saw a warm light coming through the rain. Please be a nice person. Knock, quick, Mitch. Do 
you have a phone? What happened? Why don't you come inside, child? No time. Please call an ambulance. Mm. My mom is unconscious and needs help. She's sick. Hello? Yes, I need help. Where should they go? To that old farm nearby. Apple Hill, Old Lester Johnson's farm. They're coming. You should dry off. No time. I have to go back. Wait. I'll grab my kid and go with you. Let's go. Oh my god. Is that a baby? Don't bring a baby out in the rain, lady. Seems like a terrible idea. It's a downpour out here. Couldn't put her on the uh, passenger seat, no? I'll put her in the bag, it's fine. Okay. Come on, help me take your mom <laughs> inside. Dad, take care of the baby. Mitch, you give me a hand. Dad? We have to warm her up. Start the fire. It's cold in here. Will you light it up, boy? So wait, that would make her kind of like a sister to us, right? And Mitch's aunt. Lester is your daddy? Lester is my husband's father. Ah. What's oh. your husband's name? Frank. Oh. Johnson. Can she hear us? I think she does. Maybe if I bring back my dad, you'll wake up? Mom? Where's Frank? Frank? My dad. Oh, um, no. Wow. Laying at the Blue Barn like every Thursday. He got a new family. A neon sign by the off -ramp. You're really just going to let this... Am I going to take the... Oh, wow. Okay. No one's going to stop me, huh? Wow, so he has a whole new family and a new kid. Like, they could take us in. This could be the happy ending for Mitch, I guess. They're really just gonna let me, uh... Drive this. I'm actually driving. Oh! Sorry. I mean, I meant to do that because I'm... Driving as if I was a six-year-old. It's fine. Wow. Okay. I'd never driven a truck like that before, but that night I found out that I could. Worst idea ever. Just here, I guess. The blue barn. I mean, wouldn't that be cute to live in the middle of nowhere and have a local like that? I guess if there were people you didn't like, it'd be an absolute nightmare, but. Go on. Go on in, Mitch. Don't be scared. Wow, I did not see that coming, that that was his new Stop wife. Stop cutting in, kid. There's no room. We're going to see our dad for the first time. That's when the time stopped. I saw my dad for the first time. Mm-hmm. Dad's about in for a shock in a second. Hi, I'm your kid. Your ex is back at your house with your dad and your new wife, and she's about to die. Let's go home. What? Plays nice. I'm gonna have to get his attention somehow. Papa. You have 
to help my mom, sir. You're interrupting, boy. Where are your parents? You is my parents. You have to come with me, or she's gonna die. You want me to kick that kid out? Wait, Andy. Chill out, kid. What's up? I'm Louise Connor's son. Lou? And your son, sir. Wow. It's a lot. Do you know this girl? Is it her? Please say something to her, sir. Play her something you wrote for her. Dad. Mom woke up and lived a few more days. Oh, she, she did was strangely die. calm. Then she was gone. It was oh, the man. best month of my life, but also her last. We'd been together like never before, and I think she loved it too. Mom really tried hard, and everything we went through influenced who I've become. God, I really thought she was going to make it. Today is the anniversary of my mom's death. I'm the same age now as she was when she died. She wanted to change many things, but she ran out of time. Sometimes I have a feeling she's right behind me, whispering into my ear, Don't mess it up, Mitch. My mother once told me the most important thing in life is to have oh. principles. However, she didn't tell me what those principles were. Wow. But on Wall Street, I learned fast. Money is king and greed is good. I also have a son. The best thing that's ever happened to me. I'm trying to show him everything that's good about life. And I hope I won't run out of time. I'm just now beginning to understand what my mother felt when she found out about her illness. I understand how much she lost. You kid. My mom loved me. She did her best for me. She won some, she lost more. But one thing she managed for sure, the best month of our lives. So that's what Mitch ended up doing. He ended up on Wall Street because he had confidence in people's skills. And, uh, but no righteousness, like no scruples and morals, so he ended up on Wall Street. I mean, at least he made a lot of money. I kind of, like, hate that ending for him, though. I feel bad for him. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this adventure. Thank you for coming with me and keeping me company on this crazy trip. I will see you in the next video. Click on one of these on the screen right now to go on another adventure with me right now. Um, but in the meantime, follow me up on Instagram. Check out my podcast, A Bedtime Stories. Come by the live stream on Twitch if you want. I stream there occasionally, and I appreciate you. More importantly, have a beautiful day. Thank you.